We've, we've had our first um, foray into addressable this last year, actually. And um, it's great for, you know, super hyper targeting, but a brand like Taco Bell is a big, broad brand. And so I think the discussion we had a little earlier this morning about how hyper targeted do you need to be uh, is an interesting one that we've debated at Taco Bell, given that we're a big, broad brand. Um, programmatic comes with first party information. We're still developing that, so I see it coming to life for us a little bit further down the road. Um, experiments right now are teaching us that we may not need to be quite so targeted. Twitch is a massively popular video uh, platform for gamers, right? They're streaming their live gameplay. And I think two years ago, maybe a little bit more, we would have said, wow, that seems super niche and how could it possibly retain an audience? It's not only building and growing its audience, it's got some of the longest length of video viewing anywhere on the internet. And they're not just niche. These are, you know, parents, these are kids, these are teenagers, there's, you know, people I'm sure that are Gen Xers and uh, they are really invested in the space and Taco Bell's dived in with them um, and working with influencers from Twitch has been pretty impactful for us because those are also our consumers. I think our social team's done a tremendous job building um, a case for uh, working with authentic uh, brand ambassadors of Taco Bell, people who already love the brand, had already been talking about the brand before we ever reached out and, and um, you know built a partnership with them. Um, and I think that there's a key to don't get the, getting them while they're on their way up, not getting these huge mega celebrity influencers where you're right, the ROI then is probably pretty hard to achieve.